The small town of Oxford, Mississippi, famous as the hometown of William Faulkner, can boast now another homegrown talent. It's a local firefighter named Larry Brown. After eight years of teaching himself to write and collecting an impressive number of rejection slips, Larry Brown has published his first novel, The Highly Praised Dirty Work. And Larry Brown joins us this morning. And good morning. Lest we give people the impression that, that we booked you here on the Today program because uh, a, a Mississippi fire, firefighter who writes novels would be a good get. The New York Times says that uh, you did nearly the impossible. You followed an impressive debut performance, which was your first collection of short stories, with an even stronger second effort, which is extremely unusual. So you, real, you are the genuine article now, aren't you? Well, I hope so, you know. I spent a lot of time working on this novel here, about two and a half years, and uh, it has been getting some good reviews so far. Well, what, your personal story is still is almost as interesting as the stories that you write about that will make your further reputation. Is it true you flunked high school English? I'd make that part out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't didn't care anything about education when I was in high school, and I just didn't see any, any need to, to learn much about English. Needless just, to say, you didn't go to college. Right, yeah. How have you learned to write. I mean, what you write, they say, is literature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've just, I've just done it by doing it over and over. I've been doing it for about nine years now. And uh, I just figured that, that writing was like learning anything else, that if you practiced it long enough, you could eventually learn it. But it, it took me a long time to learn it. You went through a trash novel period. What happened? Well, the, uh, I wrote the first one in about five months, and I expected it to be accepted immediately. You a lot know. of sex and stuff in it. Oh, yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I, I sent it off to a publisher up here. Of course, it came back, you know, and about <laughs> about four more came back, you know, years later after that. But uh, I finally got this one, you know. Well, you, you certainly struck cold. What are the themes that interest you as a writer? Well, I like to write about survivors, uh, about people who are in trouble and who find their own ways out of it. You know? What do you say? You, you, you invent a character and then you load them up with trouble. Tell me about the mm -hmm. characters in Dirty Work. Well, these, these are two guys uh, who were in a, a VA hospital in the South. Both of them are uh, survivors of Vietnam like 22 years afterwards. And it's just about them lying side by side in their beds talking to each other and telling each other their stories. Uh, they're both from Mississippi. One's white and one's black. They're total strangers, but they come to know each other very closely, you know, through their experiences in this. Has this changed your life? Well, not drastically. Uh, I'm doing a little more traveling now as I am. You know, I'm making more speaking engagements and things. Still but fighting I'm, fires? Yeah, I'm still fighting fires. Do you uh -huh. have any plans to, to retire? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah? Are the guys giving you a hard time, or are they just proud nah. of you, or what? <laughs> Yeah, they're proud of it. You know, they're, they're glad to see me doing so well. As a matter of fact, they sent you a T-shirt. I here. noticed that. <laughs> Firebusters. Who are you going to call? Yeah, well, sorry. I will cherish that. I will cherish a, my uh, well, soon-to-be autographed copy of Dirty Work. What about your family? What's going to happen when Hollywood starts calling? You know, that sort of thing. I don't know. I hadn't, hadn't thought too much about it. Uh, well, you better. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> you, you're, you're working again, still writing? Yeah. What's yeah, next? I'm, well, uh, I'm, I'm fixed to publish a couple more short stories, and I've got some others out under consideration right now. And I'm thinking about uh, trying to begin adapting this to the stage, adapting dirty work to the stage. Well, if all your traveling and the firefighting, are you going to have enough time to write? Yeah, I have a pretty full schedule most of the time, but I always find time to write. I'm glad to hear that. Larry Brown, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Back, back when? We'll be back after a message. I know who you are and I know what you are.